couple of months ago, I did a review of Biscout.io, the off-market deal finding software, which happens to be owned by Cody Sanchez. That version that I showed you was version one. That was the original public release. And as I said in the video, that the software will improve over time. Well, just today, all BizScout users got this email, your BizScout upgrade. And then in the email it said, we are excited to announce the launch of BizScout 2.0. As one of our current customers, we have automatically upgraded your account for full access to the latest version. And I assume if you sign up for a new account today, you would obviously get this new version. And then when you navigate to the site, you see this pop-up that says product updates, and then what they have included, data enrichment. We enriched all of our data. Filter your lead list. You can now filter your lead list to narrow down your search and quickly find the businesses you're interested in. You can search by name, et cetera, et cetera. Save your favorite leads. You can now save your favorite leads. More data to see more data on a business. Hover and click on the business and how to get the best results directly above the search filter. On a data set page, you'll see text that says how to get the best results. And then once you close that, you get here to the dashboard and there's a bar that says you're on version 2.0. You can click here to return to version 1.0. This is what it looks like. It's got that dark background. So they kind of changed the UI as well, but let's navigate back to 2.0. And here we are, super simple, just, just a few buttons once again. I remember last time the contact button was broken, so it looks like they have fixed that. Yep, super simple, just an email and message. There's the manage, which is your billing, your request, which is to start a new request. So there's three buttons to do that. There's two on the dashboard and then the one on the menu. And as you can see, my old lists aren't there. If you saw my 1.0 dashboard, I had 28 lists that I've made so far. So those are all gone in the new version. I can go back to the old one and, and find them, of course but let's go ahead and get a new list. Share your search details, same parameters as before, just city name, type of business, and then information about your search. Actually, this is different because before it was zip code. So I like that it's city name. That's a little easier because sometimes I was doing searches in cities where I don't know what the zip code is. I was doing a search in Atlanta and I have to go Google, what is the zip code for Atlanta? So this is great. I can just type in Austin and I can type in Plumbing, let's see. Oh, that, that's the example that they have too. Plumbers, okay. And I hit submit. BRB, we're grabbing your leads. This usually takes about 20 minutes. If you don't receive your leads in the next 24 hours, please reach out to us. So it looks like it's gonna take a lot longer than before. Before it was like five to seven minutes. And they're telling me it's gonna be about 20 minutes up to an entire day. So I will be back once I have results. I'll start a timer now. And we're back, 1957, just shy of 20 minutes. So not too bad, as promised. It was longer than before. Like I said, in version one, it was like five to seven minutes, but I'm told that we're gonna have a lot better list. So let's take a look at what we got. We're back on our dashboard. We now see that we have one completed list. It tells me the city that I did my last search, which was Austin. And it tells me the last search category, which was plumbing. And it found 678 records. So that's a big change because in version one, you could only get a maximum of 100 leads. So this is a big upgrade. Um, and again, just super simple, completed, plumbers, Austin, etc. Basic information here. We hit view. And here is our list. It tells us all of the items on here. It looks like we got some filter items. You can just search by businesses that have five stars just ones that have three stars, etc. You can type in keywords here. So if you're looking for like a certain franchise, you could add that into here. And they got something here that gives you little tips on how to get best results. And they got quite a lot of tips there. I won't read all those. You can dive into, you can sort by Google Analytics, WordPress, Shopify. That would be useful if you're looking at some e-commerce businesses. You can do download CSV. Let's go ahead and do that. This is great. It's got the website link, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. Before all we had was Yelp. That looks like it's good. That link works. 
and here is one of our CSV files. So we have 678 plumbing entries in the Austin area. So pretty awesome resource here if you want to do an off-market search using this data. We got their phone numbers. We don't have emails in here, which I don't like because I've been doing a lot of email campaigns for clients lately. And I think it's a better way overall to do the search. But phone is nice because you can get that instant answer. If you can if you can get a hold of the owner and they can say, nope, not interested in selling, or yeah, let's uh let's let's keep the line of communication open. I, I am looking to sell in a few months. But email is more scalable and it's much more easy to manage in my opinion. So that is what the CSV file that is generated for this data looks like. Now returning to BizScout, one of the new features we have is this saved button in the menu. So let's go ahead and see what we got there. So here I could add favorites from my lead list and then it would just populate into that saved category. So still overall a super basic website. There's not a whole lot you can do, but it's useful for generating data. Now, I've been asked a lot by clients, do I recommend BizScout? A lot of people found my last video, they reached out to me on LinkedIn or existing clients have asked me. And my answer is not necessarily. I, I think if money is no issue, then fine, go ahead and get it. It's another tool in your tool belt. It is $350 for the lifetime deal. Some people asked in the last video, can't you just get this from Google? And the answer is yes, you can. And you can also get different data scrapers. This is just one of many tools that I use. I have one that I use called Data Scrape. I think that's the name of it. And it was only $40 for a lifetime deal. And it basically does the same thing, plus some, because it gives me email addresses. So the short answer is, if you're not using another data scraper, you want to try this, you want to support Cody Sanchez, then go ahead, buy this software. But it's not necessarily the best. It's not the only, and it doesn't do anything fancy. Some people were asking me if it looks at data that might suggest the owner is looking to sell. It doesn't. It's just scraping all of the Yelp, Google, Instagram, Facebook websites in your area within a 50 mile radius in the industry that you're looking for. And it's, it's data that you can get elsewhere. So take that for what it's worth. Decide if it's worth it for you. I do expect this tool to evolve over time. And hopefully I'll be back in a few months with version 3.0. That'll be even better.